Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Wednesday Club in the house. What's up, Rhonda? Hi, guys. Hi, Megan. Whew, sorry I'm late, guys. I was just getting ready. Freaking just shaved. I cut myself shaving right here. So if I start bleeding, you guys, let me know. Hi, Amber. Hi, Kimberly. Hey, Miranda. Yeah, I totally cut myself shaving right here just now. So sorry I'm late, but hey, Wednesday we're back. We were we were off last week um, because let's see, oh, because we had an amazing show in Virginia Beach. Um, anybody out there that was at that show, hello and thanks for coming. That was so much fun. And then we also played in Kannapolis a couple days later in North Carolina. So anybody that happened to be at that show, cheers to you as well. Um, but yeah, we're back. We're back on the couch for another amazing edition of the Wednesday Club. We got track seven, uh, you know, week, whatever, track seven edition this week. And uh, I'm sure you guys are wondering, what the hell could track seven be? What could be the significance of track seven? Uh, and we will for sure get to that. But um, I'm not done saying hi to people. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Alicia. Linder Luz, what's up? Another Lisa, hello. Annie. Melissa, hi guys. Hi Tracy. Um, so you got so excited, oh, Redondo Beach, yeah, so that's, that's one thing. So uh, I got a couple things to say before we start getting into the music. Um, first of all, I gotta say that all of the Million Miler albums, the vinyl, and I know you guys got a lot of shirts, you ordered a bunch of shirts and stuff over the last couple weeks. Um, all of that is, is, some of it is already shipped, all of it, it's gonna be all shipped, the store will be cleared out as far as all of your orders uh, by this weekend. So I'm doing good, I've been packing up all week stuff. Um, and tomorrow and Friday are gonna be just like post office days. I feel like I'm gonna spend the next 48 hours at the post office sending all of this stuff off. So thank you guys for your patience, but it is all coming soon, international as well. I think I just saw Samantha Archer on here. So uh, I know you've been waiting forever, Samantha, so thank you for your patience. Um, but yeah, all the international stuff getting shipped. Hey, Audrey, uh, as well as all, all of the domestic US. It'll all be out by this weekend. So I'm so excited for you guys to get the vinyls, to get your shirts and everything. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys haven't yet, I know there's still a few more shirts available. I don't know what the size is. I think it's super limited, but we've got the, uh, you know, the shirt that Darren drew, the one year anniversary shirt. I think there's still a couple, maybe literally like one or two of these. Um, and then we've got the, the t-shirts that Alex uh, came up with the slogan for on Wednesdays, Tom Sings. We got the black one and we've got the white one. And like literally guys, once these are gone, they're gone. There's no more of them. I don't have any more laying around. I know I always order a couple extras, you know, just in case. Um, but yeah, this is it. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if you have any interest in grabbing a shirt, grab it right now uh, because there's literally like a couple left. Maybe not even your size, I don't know. So check out humanswerehere.com. Pick up a shirt if you guys feel like it. Also, order the Million Miler vinyl if you haven't. I'm getting them all out this week. So um, yeah, everybody will start getting those. We also have cassette tapes and you guys know all the TLB albums and stuff. So, so go check out humanswerehere.com if you guys haven't yet. And as always, appreciate your support very much. <clears throat> um, but yeah, enough about enough about that stuff. Uh, just one one last thank you guys so much for all of the orders and all the support with all my side projects, Million Miler, TLB, Humans Were Here, the label, Fairview, all that stuff. So thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, so the good news is that uh, we're back for Wednesday Club this week. Next week we're gonna be doing another Wednesday Club, and guess what, you guys? Next week the plain white tees are doing a bunch of shows we're doing like a string of shows in southern california um so we're all going to be together most of the week and we're also aside from doing some shows out there we are going to be recording a little bit out there so hopefully i don't want to get your hopes up because you know that's a long process but hopefully there will be some brand new plain white tees music for you guys very soon uh, because we're literally getting in the studio a little bit next week. I don't know if we're gonna finish a song. I don't know if we're gonna how far we're gonna get, 
but the process is starting next week uh, in Los Angeles. So you guys can be excited for that. And also for the Wednesday Club next week, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might not, I might not have you guys vote next week. It might just be band choice because like I said, I'm gonna be hanging out with the guys. So maybe next week we'll have Tim sing a song. We'll have Mike sing something for you. I'll sing one. You know, maybe we'll, maybe even Demaro get in there or something. I don't know. But I think next Wednesday Club, I think is gonna feature the rest of the guys in the Plain White Tees. First time ever that the other Plain White Tees will be on the Wednesday Club with me next week. So uh, that is going to be one you guys do not want to miss. So make sure you, you tune in next week because that's going to be fun. Like I said, I might not have you guys vote because I might just like we're going to be working. We're going to be in the studio. We're going to be working on new stuff. So we might just kind of have fun with it. And like, like I said, whatever Tim feels like playing, maybe Giving Tree or Rhythm of Love or Body Parts or who knows. He'll just play one. Mike can maybe play some freaking Beatles cover. I'll do, I don't know, whatever song I'm feeling. You know, we'll just have fun with it next week. But yeah. That'll be a fun one. So uh, can't wait to see you guys for next week with the rest of the band. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but maybe we'll even be able to play a new, another new song or something since we'll be in the studio. I don't know. Like I said, no expectations. We're going to have fun with it. So uh, yeah, next week will be awesome. Um, have Tim sing one of your songs since you uh, keep having to sing his. Yeah, that's a good idea. Although... I don't know if Tim would know any of my songs. I mean, I think he would, like, could Tim do Hey There Delilah? That would be kind of fun to hear him sing Hey There Delilah. I've obviously done it like, you know, uh, probably literally five to 10,000 times I've probably sang that song. Um, and Tim has probably been right next to me for a good, at least half of those versions. So I'll bet uh, he, he has no excuse to not know the words, that's for sure. Um, so that would be fun to have him sing that one. That's a good idea. Um, hey Jackie, hey Diana, hey Lori. So I'm glad all of you guys are still hanging with me here for the Wednesday Club. Um, I know we couldn't do it last week, but we're back, baby, and it feels good to be back. I'm um, hoping everybody's doing okay. I know this, you know, things are, it's so crazy, man. We thought we were kind of like over the hump with the pandemic, you know, but then it's like we got the Delta variant, and it's like some people aren't getting vaccinated, and I don't know, we don't know what the heck's going on out there. So uh, that's another thing. If you guys are in the LA area, please come out, hang with us next week. But you know, at your at your own risk, wear a mask if you feel comfortable. You know, let's just continue to be as safe as we can as we are starting to venture out and like start to do normal things again. Let's just everybody be you know take it slow and be be safe and and uh, you know make sure that we do it right so nobody gets nobody gets sick, nobody gets hurt because that's then it's not worth it. You know. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you are in the LA area, uh, next week, a bunch of Plain White Tees shows. So go to plainwhitetees.com, check out the dates. Uh, and again, check out humanswerehere.com for all the, uh, the special Wednesday Club merch, the Million Miler merch, TLB, all that stuff. Uh, all right, so let's get into track sevens, you guys. Um, I know we've already gone through, basically... I feel like track seven, well, we didn't, we haven't technically done track one week yet, so maybe that'll be after next week with the band, the, uh, you know, the free-for-all jam next week with the tees. Maybe the week after that, I'll do track ones, because we didn't really officially do track one week. It was just that one week was like, there happened to be a bunch of track ones, but, um, but yeah, besides, besides track one, we did track two, we did track three, we did track six, and now, oh, we did last track, right? Because it's important to end an album with like a statement, right? Kind of wrap up the whole album. Um, so you guys are probably thinking, what the hell is track seven? And uh, it's a very good question because it's not quite as crazy as some of the other, you know, rules or guidelines that, that, that we go by when we put the uh, record together. But I will say, and you guys are going to laugh, track seven is um is like on average like in general on any album you own track seven is on average the least listened to song on the album i don't know how that's possible like why the hell track seven like you'd think like they'd get less and less by the end of them but i think people like i don't know for whatever reason people put their duds at track seven maybe not on purpose because we certainly we have no duds am i right 
But um, but yeah, track seven seems to just generally be the least listened to songs on the album. And as I go through this list, I will. Well, there's a couple that are uh, you know, not uh, not our least popular songs by any means, but uh, certainly there's no hits on the list. So um. But yeah, that's kind of what, what track seven is. And again, it's not really intentional. It's just like I said, track six is usually like the first time you kind of slow down, hit the brakes, have a ballad. So maybe after that, people get boring and like skip through to the next like fun song or something. But uh, track seven, um, yeah, we, we certainly don't try to put any duds on any of our albums. And these songs are by no means duds. Um, but... That being said, there you don't really usually have the uh, the big hit single or anything as track seven. Um, it's kind of like the, you know, at that point you're kind of starting to like okay wrap up almost. You know, it's like the first half of the album one through six. It's like you're over the hill now and you're kind of starting on the wrap up, kind of getting to the last track to wrap up the album and to you know finish out your your vision. Um, so yeah, so again, track seven, not as strict as some of the other ones, not as necessarily as, you know, important. Oh, it's got to be a hit single or, oh, it's got to be an attention getter, you know, nothing like that. But uh, I just thought it, you guys would appreciate that fun fact of like, yeah, statistically the least listened to song on any album, track seven. So that being said, let's get into some music. Whew. Um, let's see. Yeah. I mean, these track sevens are pretty badass, I must say. You guys had some good picks here. Uh, I'm surprised a couple of them didn't get picked, as always, uh, but we're just gonna rock this list. You guys know Last Breath um, is the, the most requested song tonight, so that's what I'm gonna close with. Funny enough, Last Breath, possibly one of my least favorite Play My Tease songs. I love the song still, but if I had to judge, not one of my favorites. Probably my least favorite on that album, for sure, Wonders of the Younger. So kind of interesting, track seven. There might be something to that theory. I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, off of our Every Second Counts album. You guys picked it. Ooh, I'm hitting the guitar. Sorry. You guys picked it. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open with this one. This is so damn clever. Here we go. So it goes. You know.
Oh yeah, so damn clever. Um, that was fun, I was like getting into that one. It's like jamming. Um, boy, that high note. Now that you got it, what you want it, you don't want it anymore. That's like technically one of the highest notes that I, I ever sing on a record. My full voice like that, damn. Woo, okay. Well, thank you guys for picking that one. Uh, kick ass song. And that's, you know, Every Second Counts is still our biggest album to date. So I guess it makes sense that you guys picked uh, So Damn Clever off of Every Second Counts. A very popular track seven, I suppose. Um, all right, I'm gonna keep it moving here. Um, a lot of high songs, I will say. A lot of these on the list are pretty up there. Um, actually, honestly, kind of all of them get up pretty high. It's a weird, weird that track sevens, you know, <laughs> crazy. Anyway, um, this song is a Tim Lopez jam right here off of the American Nights album. Um, this is a song about writing songs. You know, we do that a lot. Um, since we do write a lot of songs about love and about girls and stuff, um, it's very natural to be like, to talk about writing songs for someone in a song. Um, so yeah, funny, but this is about writing a song about somebody and dancing with them. This is called Dance Off Time. Here we go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh.
Cause every word I write, chord I strike is for you. Oh yeah! Dance Off Time, track seven off of the American Nights album, normally sung by Tim Lopez. So, did my best, did my best Timothy Howells on that one. Actually, not really. I was just kind of singing it like myself, but uh, can't help but have a little bit of that Tim inflection in there, you know. Um, cool guys. So we are two down off of uh, out of five for this week's Wednesday Club. Solid votes, everybody. Uh, again, for everybody just joining, um, all of the Million Miler vinyls, all of the Wednesday Club t-shirts that you guys have ordered, they're going out or they're either out or going out tomorrow, Friday. I've been doing working all week on just packing orders and getting it all out to you guys. So. Uh, be up, be looking for an email with some confirmation, uh, you know, tracking numbers and stuff very soon. Um, but I'm excited to just get all this stuff out to you guys. So thank you for your patience. Uh, if you don't have any orders coming to you, check out humanswerehere.com. There's a couple of the t-shirts left. Uh, there's literally like 2 million miler shirts left. And I think there's like a, a handful, maybe one of a couple different sizes uh, of the Wednesday Club anniversary shirt and the On Wednesday Tom Sings shirts. So check that out, humanswerehere.com. Also, like I said, Play White Tees are gonna be playing next week. Um, a bunch of LA dates. So if you're in the Southern California area, um, come out to a show, come hang with us. Uh, I, I'm sorry I repeat myself on these, but you know, I never know. It's like I see the, the, the number of viewers kind of going up and down and up and down. So I figure maybe some people are like just joining in or whatever. So I apologize. don't think I'm like losing my mind and repeating myself. I'm just putting it all out there for those who may have just joined over the last, you know, few minutes or whatever. Um, but I'm going to keep going here. Track seven week. Um, and it's funny. Yeah. Like I said, like both those songs were up pretty high in my register and pretty up tempo songs. You know, that's the thing about track sevens. I will say for the most part, um, they're kind of upbeat because as we know, track six is the chill. So you got to come out of the chill with like a, you know, get people's attention again with that, with a, something upbeat. So yeah, a lot of these track sevens are uh, a little bit more, a little bit on the fun, upbeat side. And, uh, this one is no different. This is, this one comes right after, uh, your body on parallel universe. Um, so yeah, your body's kind of the chill jam, you know, romantic song. So we needed to say, we can't, can't let you dwell in that romance too long. We got to like, you know, wipe, wipe that out. So, uh, this is track seven off of Parallel Universe. This is Sick of Love. It goes like this. Take me out, take me someplace broken. Sick of love. 
Salty lashes behind me, sunglasses. There's no coming back once we go, once we go. Love was something I used to believe in. I've been burned too many times before. Hope is fading, my heart needs replacing. It can't feel a thing anymore. I'm so sick of love. I need a breather after that. That's like nonstop singing that whole damn song. Holy cow. Normally Mike and Tim are singing some of those other parts for me. So I was trying to get everything in there for you guys. Um, but yeah, there you go. Sick of Love, track seven off of the Parallel Universe album. Whew, that's a fun one. That's probably our most popular track seven, like on Spotify and stuff. I feel like Sick of Love is like probably in the top, like, uh, I don't know. 15 or 20 songs on our Spotify. So um, I feel like that one is one of your guys' favorite track sevens. Obviously not your most favorite because we know that is Last Breath. Coming up after one more song here. Um, let's see, where's my capo here? It's so funny, this week uh, Lennon was like running around with the capo, like shooting it like a gun, like pew, pew, pew. And, um, and I literally like, before, when I was rehearsing the songs earlier, I couldn't find the capo at all. I have no idea where he put it. So I had to dig, dig another one out of one of my guitar cases. So Lennon, don't play with the, uh, with the, the, the music stuff, you know? You never know when I'm gonna need it. And normally I don't use capos on my songs, but there's a guy in the band named Tim Lopez who uh, basically uses one for every song. He can't write a song well, he can write a song without a capo, but for some reason he always like uses these things. Um, what it is basically is it you put it on somewhere uh, uh, along the fretboard, and then you can play these open, pretty open chords. See if I want to do like this. Normally, if you didn't have the capo on there, you'd have to go like. It's just a little tighter, whereas these chords are just a little bit more open. That's all it really is. But sometimes, you know, if, if you're like, it can help with like, to inspire you, I guess, because like, you're playing different like chords and they sound different than you're used to. I don't know. I don't know why he does it so much, but, but yeah, Tim's always writing songs. Almost, I would say, uh, let's see, Rhythm of Love, Capo, Giving Tree, Capo. Uh, this next song, which is Sunlight, Capo. Body Parts, Capo. Uh, dance Off Time, no Capo. But, uh, but yeah, most of his songs are with Capos. Interesting. 
Uh, but yeah, so this song uh, is off of the Big Bad World album. And yeah, this one's a little bit different for track seven. Again, Big Bad World doesn't count of any of the real like things because uh, because it's only a 10 song album. So the, the rules are a little bit a little bit shifted. So normally this would be like track nine, basically. Uh, you know, if you, if you added a couple songs or whatever. Um, because it's the chill. It's like the slow down again. You got track six as the chill song. And then you usually have a couple of bangers. And then you slow down again for like track nine. You know. Uh, see, I'm giving it away. Now we can't do track nine week. Because now you guys already know the, uh, the, the, the trick. But anyway. This is another pretty freaking high one. Like, Tim always bitches whenever we have to do this one live. Not bitches, but he's just like, oh, man, it's so high. It's so high. And I'm always like, dude, whatever. Come on. And now, like, playing it, uh, it's pretty damn high. And that chorus and that bridge, when that bridge comes in. Woo! So, uh, but you know what? I'm not bitching. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is Sunlight. When the storm won't end on your raging sea, when you've all but given up, flow back to me. When the waves come down and your arms give me, when you're tired of I can see sunlight through my window. If you open your eyes, you find your way back. Sunlight through my window. If you open your eyes, you find your way back home when you're all alone, stuck in the dark, when you've lost your way. I can see sunlight through my window. If you open your eyes, you find your way back. Sunlight through my window. If you open your eyes, you find your way back. 
empty love waiting for you. Whew, oh, man, yeah. Come home. Was that higher than my, um, what's it, the So Damn Clever note? Can you hear me? Go home. No. So damn clever note was higher than that. But this one, it kind of stays up there the whole time. Go home. Anyway, high one. All right. Oh, man. Can I make it? Are we going to make it, you guys? <laughs> we, are, we are down to our last uh, last song of the night, our most requested song of the night, Last Breath off of the Wonders of the Younger album. Uh, let's see, Trish, I saw Trish is on here. I know this is like her favorite song, um, which is hilarious because um, it's funny. Usually me and her are pretty much on the same page with, with some songs, but this one, like I said before, is not one of my favorites, uh, but I know this is like her favorite. But, you know, as the guys in the band once said, maybe this one is not not uh, one of my favorites because it's so uh, kind of hits close to home or something. Maybe it's a little too personal, which I don't necessarily, I mean, I put my I put my heart into all the songs, you know, there's a little piece of me in all of them. So I don't think that's the case. I just think it's a uh, mediocre song. Just kidding. Anyway, you guys, uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Last song, last breath. Um, Humanswerehere.com. A couple t-shirts left, a couple Wednesday Club shirts. Get them, and they are literally gone. These are the final shirts that exist. So um, if you want one, get them now. Uh, only a couple million Myler shirts left as well. That cool ringer, the blue with the sun. and, and uh, Really amazing. That They came out so good. Uh, million Myler vinyl. Get them. Cassette tapes. Uh, TLB vinyl autograph TLB, uh, test pressings TLB. We got those million mile jackets look so badass. Anybody that has the jacket, you guys should have gotten those I think already. I wanna see, I wanna see you in the jacket. Post, you know, post something and tag me, Higgy Pop, million miler, tag us. I wanna see those jackets out in the wild because they look so good, they came out so awesome. So, um, yeah, and uh, again, if you guys did order something, Look for the uh, tracking numbers ASAP in your emails because they're all getting shipped out this week. So uh, I'm excited. And then next week we'll be in LA. Anybody come hang with the T's? Do one of, uh, you know, come to one of the T shows? Excuse me. And um, next week, Wednesday Club is going to be uh, with the whole band. So, like I said, we're going to just kind of, we might not do voting next week. We might just kind of hang and, and have a little free for all. You know, have Tim play one, have Mike play one. Uh, and maybe, maybe we'll play a new one. We're going to be recording next week as well. So, uh, we're going to take a break from recording to do the Wednesday club next week. So that'll be fun. Don't miss it. Um, I don't know if we're going to do a new song, so don't hold me to that, but either way, it's going to be a good time. So we'll see you guys next week. Everybody be safe. And here's your most requested song. Uh, last breath. Here we go. Surrender to your
attack Cause I would sacrifice my spine If that would get you off my back so Flowers and trees would plant the seeds But nothing will grow there Cause we're going nowhere Cause I'm nothing but good to you What am I fighting for? What am I fighting for? If it ain't you What am I trying for? What am I crying for? And what am I dying for? If it ain't you Last breath, track seven off of Wonders of the Younger. Oh, all right, you guys really, uh, you pushed me to today. A lot of high songs. What am I fighting for? How high is that note? What am I fighting for? That's the same high note from, uh, from uh, Sunlight. So not quite as high as uh, that note in So Damn Clever. It's one half step lower. But what am I not? I'm up there a lot. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you all for hanging again on uh, yet another amazing Wednesday Club. See you guys next week with the rest of the band. Um, it's going to be a fun one, so don't miss it. Uh, like I said, maybe even premiering an, an, another new one. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure uh, if we'll have one together or not, but maybe. Maybe that'll be a little goal for us. But either way, we're going to be hanging. Uh, playing some songs. It'll be a loose, fun one. Probably no voting next week. We're just going to play some stuff that we feel like playing. Take a little break from the studio um, and hang with you guys on the Wednesday Club. Uh, why? Because we like you. Um, so until then, uh, see you guys soon. Uh, anybody in LA, maybe we'll see you this weekend um, or next weekend. This weekend and next week weekend, we've got shows in the Los Angeles, you know, Southern California area. So check out plainwhitetees.com. Come out to a show if you uh, if you can, if you feel safe enough, if you got vaccinated, uh, if you feel good about it, come on out, come hang with us. Um, if not, we'll see you next Wednesday. Uh, also, humanswerehere.com. Get some shirts while you still can and plainwhitetees.com for all the tour dates. Okay, love you guys. Thanks again. Uh, awesome track seven week and uh, see you next week. Bye.